What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, April 4th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the Draft Dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, who do we have at the point guard position? I like Colin Sexton from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Sacramento Kings, who have the seventh worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Colin Sexton has scored 30, 30, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 25.4 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 32 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. Colin Sexton is 6,200 DraftKings salary. He's 400 more on FanDuel, projected at 29.4 fantasy points here tonight. He's going to need about 32 fantasy points to hit five times value. There's an implied total of 228.5 points in this game. That's a high total. And Colin Sexton has been super consistent, scoring over 30 fantasy points in his last four games. He's playing a ton of minutes, 38 and 39 minutes in the last two games. He's going to be out there no matter what happens. That's why I like this pick. This is a fast-paced game and a fantastic matchup. So I love Colin Sexton here versus the Sacramento Kings. So our DFS tools for MLB Baseball are now live and working. You can click on the MLB tab to change sports and check the tools out for baseball. They're really helpful. They're going to save you guys a ton of research time. Remember, we added projected ownership and that will be updating throughout the day as injury news changes. We also added the fantasy points per minute stat here for each player. And we also added a stat that's new to the industry. We call it the hit percentage, and it's the percent chance this player has to hit value at his current DFS salary. And you can access all these new stats even on mobile devices by tapping the dash rank icon. Okay, who do we have at the shooting guard position? I like Buddy Heald from the Sacramento Kings playing the Cleveland Cavaliers who have the 10th worst defense overall, and they give up the 5th most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Buddy Heald has scored 40, 41, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 34.1 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 32 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. Buddy Heald is 6,900 DraftKings salary. He's 800 more on FanDuel, Projected at 34.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. I'm targeting a lot of players for this game. There's a high implied total. The matchup is great on both sides. A lot of young guys that are going to get a lot of run. I love the price for Buddy Heald on DraftKings. 6,900 is a great price for a guy with 40 point upside that has 35 point floor in his last three games. If you want to go cheaper at this position, take a look at Bogdan Bogdanovich another guy who's looking to break out into another 30 or 40 point game. He's only 5,500 DraftKings salary and 300 more on FanDuel. So much more reasonable FanDuel price. Also projected to get about five times value and could smash that in this matchup. So I like Buddy Heald and Bogdan Bogdanovich here versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. Eligible at small forward here on DraftKings. I believe he's a shooting guard over there on FanDuel. I like Reggie Bullock from the LA Lakers playing the Golden State Warriors, who have a middle of the pack defense overall and the seventh best versus small forwards. Reggie Bullock has scored 20 and 30 fantasy points in his last two games, averaging 20.1 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 30 minutes per game 
with a 16% usage rate. Reggie Bullock is 3,600 DraftKings salary. He's 200 more on FanDuel, projected at 23.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 6.5 times value. I love this play. It's a home game, a fast-paced game. Reggie Bullock's gonna be out there. He's near minimum salary on both sides. A great low score drop option on FanDuel. So I love Reggie Bullock here versus the Golden State Warriors. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you wanna enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. If you're tired of picks from the Sacramento and Cleveland game, you can go ahead with Tobias Harris from the Philadelphia 76ers. He's only 7,000 salary, same price on FanDuel, so that's a great FanDuel price. Projected at 36.1 fantasy points here tonight, that's 5.2 times value. Tobias Harris has been consistent, scoring 33, 39, and 41 fantasy points in the last three games. The minutes are always there for Tobias Harris, so he's a safe play. Just remember, Joel Embiid should be back for this game, and the matchup isn't great. That's why I like a couple pivot options that I'm going to give you here. If you're looking to stack the Sacramento-Cleveland game like I am, take a look at Marvin Bagley from the Sacramento Kings versus the Cleveland Cavaliers, who have the 10th worst defense overall. They give up the 13th most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Marvin Bagley has scored 34 and 38 fantasy points in his last two games, averaging 28.5 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 25 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He had a 30% and a 35% usage rate in the last two games, so it looks like they're trying to feed him the ball. Marvin Bagley is 6,400 DraftKings salary. He's 1,100 more on FanDuel, so I love that DraftKings price, but at 1,100 more, I'd probably rather play Tobias Harris over there on FanDuel. Projected at 28.4 fantasy points here tonight, he's gonna need about 32 fantasy points to hit five times value. So if you need to save some salary, you're probably gonna get less minutes, but the matchup for Marvin Bagley and Larry Nance Jr. is really good. And both their salaries are down. Larry Nance is only 6,300 DraftKings salary, 1,100 more on FanDuel. So there's three power forwards for you. Tobias Harris as a safe cash game play and Marvin Bagley or Larry Nance Jr. as a GPP power forward. Okay, moving on to the center position. Don't forget about Joel Embiid. He's back for this game and he's got great team history versus the Milwaukee Bucks. He put up a 79 and a 70 in his last two games versus the Milwaukee Bucks. So just watch out for Joel Embiid. But at the center position, I like DeMarcus Cousins from the Golden State Warriors playing the LA Lakers who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing centers. DeMarcus Cousins has scored 59, 22, and 30 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 36.8 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 26 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. DeMarcus Cousins is 7,100 DraftKings salary. He's 2100 more on FanDuel, so I love that DraftKings price, and I don't love that FanDuel price. I'd probably pivot away from DeMarcus Cousins on FanDuel. There's an implied total of 227 points in this game. DeMarcus Cousins is projected for 36.8 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. There's an implied total of 227 points in this game, so most of the time I'm not worried about a blowout but I am worried about one here. The Golden State Warriors want to keep winning to hold on to that one seed. And the LA Lakers without LeBron James and some injuries on their team, they're really not that good. The Golden State Warriors will probably smoke the Lakers today. So I'm worried about the minutes that these stars are gonna play. 
So I like DeMarcus Cousins on DraftKings, and I like Joel Embiid on FanDuel. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video, or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.